Hi, Jim Nelson here of Photography Travel Tours, and today I'm back in Adobe Lightroom, going to show you an image that I processed uh, from start to finish. I won't go into too much detail on the, the panel here that I that most people use, but it's specifically we're going to show you I'm going to show you uh, a couple of selective uh, edits. Uh, this is a super selective uh, tool, the adjustment brush up here on the right and the grad filter. So here's the raw image. I'm going to fast forward to my final uh, draft here before I brought it into Photoshop and you'll see pretty major difference with uh, not a whole lot of uh, edits and time involved. It takes a little bit of time here because I'm on a Mac, it's still rendering. There it is, okay. So you can see that um, it's a lot brighter because I did underexpose, I was hand holding. Um, it wasn't on a tripod so I was under about two stops. So I brought the exposure up, but more importantly, um, I did some work in this area right here because there was a major cast in this area. And so I'm gonna demonstrate uh, what I did here with the adjustment brush up here on the right. I'm gonna click on that, it activates, it brings up a, a new panel here. Uh, the cursor now turns into a brush, uh, but I'm gonna click on this uh, circle right here, which is gonna show the actual uh, edit that I did in that area and down here on the bottom window, it says show selected mask overlay right here. If you click that, it's gonna show that red, uh, in red, the area that I painted. So basically what I did here is I'm actually gonna paint a little bit and I'm gonna kind of paint out the out of the bounds of the area that I want it to be just to demonstrate how that works. So I'm actually out of bounds here, but to show you what that looks like, you can kind of see where you're painting. Uh, if you happen to go out of bounds, which usually happens uh, with me anyway, uh, click down here for erase and you can erase it. You can adjust the size of that brush on the brackets on your keyboard and just make sure you go back to A here for when you want to apply within the mask. It uh, helps to have this auto mask here. It kind of helps us uh, find the edge of your, your selection. So I'm just going to say done. I'm going to go back where we were with that before I showed you that part and again I'm going to go back into the adjustment brush and turn off the, the mask here the red part and then I'm going to click again on the circle and it's going to show what I did over here in this panel I did a few adjustments up in here um, but the most important thing I did was the saturation I'm really trying to take the yellow cast out and neutralize it um, so if I double click on the saturation, it's going to bring it back to zero and it's, and it's going to show you that yellow cast that I'm talking about there. You see that? Uh, I like to have an element in my image that is a little bit neutral, a little more neutral because to me this overall cast in the whole image, it just seems too yellow and kind of unbelievable to me, even though it was pretty intense. Uh, you can see that I didn't, uh, uh, can't see here, but in the, in the main uh, panel, I did no, no vibrance or saturation. So I'm going to bring the saturation back down to where I had it. I think it was uh, minus 75. And uh, you'll see, you can see what that did. It really neutralized it, really cleaned it up. I really like what it did there. I'll click done. And then the other thing that I did was uh, apply a graduated filter. That's right here in the middle up here on, on the right. Again, if I click on that circle, it's going to show me the edit that I did. I drag a filter, click and drag from the bottom left corner all the way up to here. And then the only thing that I did was bring the exposure down. I'm going to double click on that to bring it back to zero to show you what the brightness looked like before I applied that. It was too bright uh, for my liking, so I brought the exposure down to uh, minus, uh, about minus 70 or so. Let's call that good, minus 70. So in my opinion, that balanced the image a lot more. It got away away from that really bright spot. Um, so you can see that I didn't take a lot of time to do these edits. The most uh, consuming thing I did was uh, creating this mask in this area. You want to take your time when you're doing a mask like that so that you don't bleed over into here because if you did, it's going to affect that area. So pretty simple techniques, uh, very powerful effects in Adobe Lightroom. Uh, I did bring it into Photoshop to clean it up a little bit, cleaned up some of these uh, marks in here. There's little stains on the wall, 
some water stains up on the ceiling here. I did take artistic license here and remove this grill right here. And uh, so great, I'm glad you spent some time to watch this video and I hope that you can incorporate this technique, uh, mainly using the adjustment brush, uh, into your workflow. Thanks for watching.